Whoa. Well, hi guys, Lance here from the Rocky Mountain Life Channel. I'm out riding with Super Dave again today. He's taking me to a single track. <laughs> My very first real single track attempt. Let's see how it goes. So guys, this is a single track, 735, a very first single track, <laughs> first proper single track. Super days behind me in case I crash and burn. And I'm probably going to go super slow. But how are you going to figure it out if you don't try it? I've been wanting to try an actual single track for a while. I just wanted it to be one that I felt like didn't have much exposure. Super Dave tells me this is flat, no mountains to fall off of, and it's really only about a mile long or so, so this will be a good training experience for me. It's a lot of rocks. That's Colorado for you. <laughs> Here in the words of my friend Ron, momentum is your friend. It's pretty dark in here, a lot of shadows. The sun is out, I mean, there's no clouds. It's been an absolutely spectacular day, still is, but there's enough trees in here that the shadows are pretty dark. So I'm actually not seeing super great in the thick stuff. I know Ferret Face can enjoy the uh, challenge of getting through tight single track. A lot of people really like it. The jury's still out on it for me. I tend to prefer to go a little faster, have a little bit more space, not get quite so tired, but have to test myself a little bit. I'm not going to improve my skills at all if I don't strain on them a little bit. I just have to do it carefully and in a way that's not going to get me injured. Ouch. <laughs> Ooh, okay, this is that section he was telling me about. It's pretty ugly. You got to pick your line. The bikes will just roll through this stuff mostly, but uh, I am just uh, not great at it. Uh, uh, but I learned with Tommy and Ferret Face earlier this summer to trust the bike a little bit more, let it do its thing. This is the time I'm glad that these babies, at least these RRSs, have radiator fans on them because this slow stuff, it'll get warm. Oh, big drop off, followed by loose rocks. <sighs> <laughs> okay, here's another downhill section that's got a lot of ledges, tree roots, loose rocks. <sighs> Uphill, oh no. one just about looped on me. Uh. 
<laughs> trying to gain momentum halfway up when you didn't have much to start with. <laughs> I believe is probably a recipe for looping. <sighs> well, I've been perfect temperature all day. Now I'm hot. <sighs> Sorry for all the heavy breathing, guys. Not in the greatest shape in the world. And I'm doing something a little bit harder than what I'm accustomed to. when I'm glad I'm tall doing all this paddling <laughs> oh gosh <sighs> this is steep this is kind of like that section I tried to do with Tommy but I sat up above and looked at for 10 minutes because it scared me so much I just feel like I'm going to come down and endo and... Uh, but I didn't stop and stare at this one for 10 minutes. <laughs> That's good. Uh, I haven't changed the battery in my camera for a while. I hope I don't have this thing die partway through this. Because I wanted to show you my first single track adventure. Ooh. still the same trail number, 753, but it no longer looks like a single track. Right on. Was that it? Yeah. Well, <laughs> it wasn't a very long single track. It ends right there. <laughs> But I'm really glad I got through it. I didn't even tip over. So, really what, what I learned from that is I can do fairly, I don't want to say easy single track, because there were some, some things on that that I didn't feel like were very easy. But I can do some, I can do single track in short bursts and I'm, I'm okay on it as long as I don't have a lot of exposure to fall off a mountainside. So, <laughs> I like that. Whoa! Ah. And then I have trouble with a little turn like that. Whew. It wasn't even a right-hand turn. It was a left-hand turn, and I like those. Weird. Look at this trail though. Look at the tree cover and everything. Ouch. Swacking me in the helmet and everything. Awesome. <laughs> so beautiful. So guys, thanks for coming along on my very first single track adventure. Even if it wasn't a terribly long one. But that's the way I wanted to start off. I didn't want to start off with a big long one, just in case it was too much for me and I had to bail out, backtrack. This one was short, it was rough in parts, but it, it, it was good for my, uh, good for my psyche, I guess, you know, to prove to myself I can actually do some of that. 
Anyways, guys, thanks for coming along on my first single track. Uh, we'll see you next time.